Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Mitsubishi logo inside Microsoft Word and we will do it in two different ways. So as you can see here, the left one is an image, the right one is a shape created inside Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start with a blank document. I already have this image pasted in here. What I will do is I will open the format properties and maybe change the shape to be a little bit faded. So like this and I will select insert shapes, new shape being the diamond shape and I will try to draw it in a way that it kind of looks very same as the top in the top part of the logo like this then i will use my arrow keys on my keyboard to position everything properly and maybe i will zoom out zoom in and change the fill to no fill so i can see the shape better but i think i'm pretty happy with the result so what i will do is i will zoom out i will change the fill to be this red color for this red color the rgb values are uh, 237 28 and 36 I will just set the outline to no outline, I will copy paste this shape, rotate it with the shift key being pressed, that's kind of important because it will stick to certain degrees, move it to the left, then copy paste it again, rotate it again, like this, move it to the right, and we have a nice Mitsubishi logo, I can delete this image now, and I'll still have a Mitsubishi logo done from three different shapes, so that was kind of easy, it's like a one minute task, but let's try to do it some other way. And the other way would be to using Visual Basic for applications that is using macros. I will not start from scratch, but I will start from my previous tutorial for drawing those uh, rose patterns. I will put the link in the description. If you haven't seen the tutorial, it goes, please go check it out. And I will open the macros, this macro to draw the polygon, and I will try to run this macro to see what we got. So if I run this, we get a very intricate pattern. That's because for the radius we are using this 7 divided by 8. So I will change this to 3. I only want three pedals. If I run this, you can see it's kind of strange. That's because we don't have enough segments. Although it's saying we have 256 different segments. What we are doing here is we are setting the angle to 360 times 8. So we are going 8 times around the circle. If I delete this one, right again, you can see we have a nice looking three pedals shape inside the Microsoft Word. But what's this actually happening is if i select the drawing i will probably deselect this shape so we are feeding the cos cosine function in and um, basically wrapping it around the circle so it starts here here is the maximum value for the cosine function it goes down around here the cosine is value is a zero and it goes down here where this is the minimum value so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value so if I quickly draw the cosine function, it goes like this. So this is the, of course, the maximum value, and this is the minimum value. So as you can see, this this part, this highlighted part, is what's actually used for this half of the pedal. So it goes one, two, three, five, six. It goes twice around the circle. We can easily see it if I delete everything and I change the code to not go 360, but 360 divided by two, I will still get the same shape just because we are going around the circle, you know, all the way down here for just one piece of the, of the cosine function. What I want to do is I don't want to go out, you know, to the negative value. So instead of using cosine some angle times 60, I will actually add 60 to this. So it only goes in the positive values it's never negative value and you can see that right now i can only see part of the shape so i have to change this back to go around 360 degrees so if i run this again now i'm getting shame which i'm looking shape which i'm looking for you can see there is something in the middle that's most likely because of how word handles those lines it's probably the joint type if i set the joint type to a different value it will disappear but i don't care about the joint type at all right now because we will we will change it we will change everything later on okay so if i compare this shape with the mitsubishi logo you can see it has three different spikes or petals but of course this is kind of rounded whereas we are looking we want those diamond shapes instead so what we can try to start is we can try to lower the number of segments so instead of 256 segments i only want three different shapes with three different shapes with four segments so that means that I want 12 different segments. So if I run this immediately, you can see we get a shape which kind of looks like a Mitsubishi logo. There is something missing in there. And that something is that those those points, if I, if I can draw it, 
those those points they should be on a little bit different position you can see down here this line should be straight like this which means that this point should be moved a little bit down so like this if you look at it like this is the center point and we have a certain radius this is the maximum value of the cosine function again I will draw the cosine function in here so this is the cosine function this is of course the maximum value and this is the minimum value so this is the maximum value then it goes to you know the middle of the function and here we have the minimum value which is of course it's a zero if i take a look at the code we are using a radius value angle times three that doesn't matter but the cosine gives us a value between minus one and one times 60 is minus 60 to 60 plus 60 of course is going from 0 to 120 so this is 120 this is also 120 which means that this point in here is in the middle it's cosine function of 0 but because we multiply it by 60 and add the 60 to it it will be 60 so 0 times 60 is of course 0 but uh, plus 60 is 60 so this is a radius of 60 what we want to do is we want this radius 60 to be just a little bit bigger so it will go outwards so what we probably can do is just you know hard code everything and look for the radius value so if the radius value will be you know 120 or 0 we will not do anything but if the radius will be 60 we will actually change this radius a little bit to be a bigger value so let, let's try to do it so i will say if radius is 60 then i want this uh, radius to be a little bit bigger maybe i don't know 69 and if i will probably set if around radius i will round this to an integer number because the cosine function will most likely give us a very small value but maybe not a zero so just to make sure that it's 60 i will compare the integer value of radius if it's 60 i will make it a little bit bigger so if i delete everything and just try to run this macro again you will see that right now those points all those small points the middle points are now moved the radius a little bit bigger which means that now the bottom lines are properly aligned and i think that we got this uh, mitsubishi shape which we are looking for so i can run this one more time i will just make sure that the fill and outline are the right colors and we have a nice mitsubishi logo yep that's it of course we don't have to you know end here because we have a pretty solid code we can do anything else we can for example you know increase the number of segments right now we are using 12 which is of course three times four so four different points for three shapes if i change this to four by four which is 16 and i change the radius to be angle times four i will probably get something similar but with four different shapes and i can continue like with this with even more shapes so five points and in here i will change this angle times five and so on the thing is that those other shapes are not visually that pleasing but i'm pretty sure that you can find out different ways how to use it we can of course not change the radius to be bigger one we can make it maybe smaller like like 10 and we will get this kind of strange looking star almost looks like at the old chrysler logo and um, but that's it yeah that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching